Now, before we get into the episode, this is after recording the actual episode that I'm recording this. As you can see, I've got like a minute left on all my imprints. And uh, just a quick update, we've got the Rexes here, they've got two more imprints until they're done. 18 hours until the breeder is done, then we can start smashing out uh, some nice breed line Rexes. Well, not nice, they're pretty trash, but good enough for the bosses. And as you can see, they're going to be, they're going to break uh, 10k health and not too sure about the melee. I'm not too sure what the melee is going to end up with once it's 100% imprint, but it's going to be pretty nice. And over here, we've got the Mega Theoriums. These ones are already done. 100% imprint. Mega Theoriums are fucking amazing. They're like the, the chillest dino that you, you can raise. Like, they're so good. I think by the time they're 40% raised, you already have 100% imprint. So, fucking amazing there. Uh, so, we've got these these two girls here this is like the best stats that we have 5.7k 302 and actually I got um, those stats on a male here as you can see so we've got a guaranteed pair here which is amazing and as you can see I can do my imprints already Anki egg I think we got that uh, so yeah really happy with that our breed lines are progressing along very nicely anyway the reason why I'm recording this uh, I don't know what you would call it, a prelude, <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is, uh, is because I just want to address a few things, a few comments that I read in the last episode about a few things that I did. Now the first thing I want to address is everyone was saying that I shouldn't use spike walls on the greenhouse because someone could just shoot the glass Bye, ceilings. Did my Rex just fucking fall down? <laughs> okay, what was I saying before I got really interrupted by my retarded Rex baby? Alright. I was talking about the spike walls and how people were saying in the comments that people could just shoot the greenhouse ceilings. Now they could have with the way that I set up the spikes uh, in the episode, but I actually changed it before I put up the episode and I just couldn't be fucked re-recording re it. And as you can see, they're a lot closer together and I've actually tested it and you can't actually hit the greenhouse ceilings. So, I mean, if you think you can, I welcome you to come and try and try and raid me, but I'm 100% certain that you can't actually drop the ceilings with the way that it is now. Now on to the second thing. When I asked people what the best way of grinding XP was, a lot of people were saying why don't you just grind stone uh, for XP, it's better XP and obviously you're going to use it to make gunpowder for bullets. I mean that is, that is a good point for making gunpowder. Now it actually isn't better XP, it is faster XP but it is not more XP if that makes sense. Uh, I looked at the Wikipedia for the grinder and one wood is half an XP and two stone is one XP. So it's exactly the same. It's just that the stone goes a lot quicker. Now, the reason why I don't use stone is because it takes a lot longer to farm stone than it does to farm wood. Because pretty much the only good spots to farm stone is like right here. Uh, as you can see, the density is amazing. If there were a bunch of spots like this near me, I'd be more than happy to do stone instead of wood. And uh, the reason why I do wood is because I have a mammoth it reduces the weight considerably. I don't need to go too far away from the base. And then over here, there is a bunch of trees where the density is fucking amazing. As you can see that, it is great. So yeah, it's a lot faster for me to farm wood than it is for stone. Even though wood is useless, I don't really need any bullets at the moment. All of our turrets are sitting at about 500 bullets, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, when I do need more gunpowder, I'm more than happy to farm up stone and turn that into flint. So yeah, hopefully that answers your guys' question. I just wanted to clarify these things because I know I don't explain a lot of things when I do them or why I do them. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that explains a lot. Anyway, let's get into the episode and I hope you guys enjoy. What's going on boys and girls? It's Muntich Gaming here again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back over on Ark Survival Evolved Official PvP. This is episode 17 of my Road to Tech series. Now if you guys remember a couple episodes ago I raided this base here, Planet Vegeta. And uh, it was a solo raid but I wasn't able to get out with any loot because uh, my bird died. Um, and as you can see, they've actually set this base back up. But I think they're trying to pull the sneaky because I found a fresh base of theirs over on Kano Island. So I'm guessing that they've moved all of their stuff over there. They've just set this up here temporarily as a decoy. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Kano Island, raid that base and uh, see what they got in store for us. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering why I'm hitting these guys again. The reason why we're hitting them again is because I'll put it on the screen now. I got a bunch of DMs from one of the guys in the tribe threatening to report me for uh, associating with cheaters. Apparently, one of my tribe mates is a, an aimbotter, ESPer, whatever. 
and uh, yeah, he was very fucking salty. It was it was amusing. So <laughs> um, normally I wouldn't hit them again so soon, but since they decided to be salty hunts, and he's gone ahead and reported me. Well, that was his words. I don't know if he has or not. If he's bluffing, then I don't know. Tough luck. I'm still gonna fucking hit you. So we're gonna fly over there now smash their base and uh, see what we get. Even if we don't get any loot, I don't mind. As long as I take down all their turrets, I'll be happy. So without further ado, let's get into the episode and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we're over here at Kano Island and their base is just over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. As you can see, they've got a couple of turrets up on the roof. Not that many, probably about eight. So we're just going to park here, chuck down a sleeping bag. And then we'll just uh, run out the turrets, I reckon. Alright, let's go. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if I need the beer. Alright, hangover is wearing off. Let's run in. Um, I'm thinking if I throw just, it behind the cabinet. Just melee the cables. No, no, no. no they're in there. Oh, it's on neutral. Oh. Alright. The bird's gonna have to die. Alright, he's almost dead. There we go. Nice. Alright. Check their bodies. You harvest all that shit. Yeah, give me a sec. There's a plant to get shit somewhere. Um, what have we got in these? Narks. Gunpowder, 2C4, C4 detonator. Why the fuck do they have gunpowder in their Anki? Oh, actually, no, this is RG, never mind. Seven grenades, what the fuck? I've got 90 gas. He's rocking a prim tabby, bro. Oh, nice. That's all we need. Easy. Start pumping out stuff with Ooh. the gas. Hell yeah. Start pumping out some polymer. Oh, we need paste. Bro. You won't believe what this guy has. Who? Where? Eight antidotes. Wait, upstairs? On this guy's body. I just pulled it up his body. Here, oh, fuck yes. Perfect. If you guys didn't notice already, but we got infected again, and the whole base got infected, we couldn't contain it, which is very unfortunate. But luckily, we've got the antidote now. Oh, kibble! Fuck yeah! Di oh, it's just dodo dilo karuku. Got oh my god, they got so many fucking dodo eggs. Holy shit! All right, so we're going to be getting all of this loot out, all the loot that we missed in the last raid. I really want some paste to craft up the rest of this obsidian. And I'm gonna say it's in the vaults. Nice. Ooh, gunpowder for days. Alright, so to make more C4 we need a paste over there, so I've spawned back at the base. Grabbing some paste now. Let's grab a bit more actually. I might even bring the other ingredients as well, just in case. So, bring over some hide and fibre, if we have fibre. Actually, I don't think we have fibre. <laughs> Uh, that's awkward. I'm pretty sure they have fiber over there though. Alright, cool. We'll grab that and then we'll go over there and craft up some more C4 for those vaults. Alright, we're back over here. Let's get back to crafting up some polymer. Alright, so where is their loot going to be? Vault number one? Or vault number two? Let me know guys in the comments. Where do you think it's going to be? Hmm. And uh, I think we're going to start blowing this one first. Alright, vault number one, what have we got? Alright, there we go, that's what we got from the first run. Not too bad at all. So what I'm going to do is we're going to fly back to base, craft up some more C4 and come back for this vault. Actually, before we go, let's blow these turrets for the ammo. Make this as profitable as possible. Alright, there we go, not a bad amount of uh, turret ammo, considering I only use 4 C4 for that. Let's head back to base, get some C4. And then we will come back to blow up that second vault. Alright, what do we got? Is it empty? I don't know. 
Oh, the jack. Oh blitz. my god, 21 leech blood. Oof. Yep. Hell yes. So after that, we ended up going over to the old base, completely wiping that, killing all their tames, so they have nothing left on the server. Now, I wouldn't do this under normal circumstances, but because of that one fucking idiot, that salty cunt that decided to report me with no evidence, with no proof, just a baseless accusation, um, I decided to wipe them. And I don't feel sorry. I feel bad for the guys that weren't involved, but by association right anyway i just want to clarify for everyone that the guy that he's accusing of being a hacker is not a hacker the guy that he was talking about was b chills who was a streamer i believe he's, he does rust videos and he plays fortnite now i think and the guy that plays with me is chill drill this the only similarity is chill in their names like they're completely different people and i don't even think the guy that he's talking about b chills is a hacker so i don't know what the fuck's going on there anyway Good riddance to them. I'm sure that guy will be a salty cunt again and DM me or come back to the server and try and wipe me, but whatever. We'll deal with it when we deal with it. And if he does DM me, I'll make sure to fill you guys in. So anyway, I'm pretty excited. Uh, the Breeder Rex is going to be ready for tonight for more breeding. So you guys should see that in the next episode. And as you probably saw there, we have Megatheriums ready for breeding. We're breeding those up now, so they should be ready in eight hours. And uh, yeah, everything's going pretty well. Going to plan, going to plan. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.